Lumos here for AFTV. I'm actually in New York right now. I'm on a holiday, but I still want to see the Arsenal playing. And I heard about this pub that shows all the games that Gunas come to meet up. And I said, let me check it out for myself and let me document it and share it with the rest of you lot. So I've come down to the Blind Pig to ask fans what they thought of today's game and also what they think of Stan Kroenke. That you guys are here in New York, especially over here by the Black Pig. Never thought you guys would be here, but you guys are here today. What do you think about today's game, actually? Man, I think I think the scoreline was fitting to how we performed. I think that Huddersfield, I mean, I think they've scored 12 goals all season, something like that, and it showed in their finishing. I don't think we were great defensively. They could have had more opportunities. I think 2 1 is fair, even if it's completely disappointing to concede at the end like we did. Yeah. End of the day, we take three points on the road, we move on. I mean, Look, man, I, I think I was skeptical of the lineup when we put it out because yeah. we were playing three back, right. three at the back against a team that just has scored the fewest number of goals yeah. in the league by a fair margin. Right. I mean, it's just, it was definitely questionable for me, but at the end of the day, it allowed guys like Ainsley, Maitland Niles, and Kolasinic to bomb forward, get decent balls in the box, and Ainsley ends up with a really good assist. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I think, you know. You got a lot of shining light. I think a Wobie first half really stood out to me. Mikatarian today, I think I had some improved. He came Thank out God today. he's back, man. Wow, like, like today, like, like, like a light went off to me. Like, the guy played so sharp, one touch passes, like, into space, you know, turning on the ball, bringing shots in, you know. That second goal was all because of him, you know. He took a shot, the flight that comes back around, I think, turns a twist, brings it out wide. I think with Mkhitaryan, it's like, you see how much we miss him when he's not there. Right. Because he's the type of guy that can drop in, and I think he's really good at finding spaces to create attacking opportunities off the ball. Yeah. And then he can receive the ball, distribute, or he just, I mean, he takes, like, something like five shots a yeah. game. You know, he just shoots right. all the time, and it's something that we kind of need. Right. There's a little bit of directness because yeah. guys like Awobi that go down the side. I'm a big Awobi fan, you know. I'm yeah. always defending him here because people get on his back. But like, yeah. I think he had a hell of a performance no, today. No, today he really did really good at Alex. And I, I, something that I noticed with Alex lately, he's got magic feet. He plays so good with the ball at his feet. His ability Ooh. to beat man one on yeah, one, one, one and then lay like, it off. If, if you notice today, he had like three guys around him. He was able to like get past two guys and then around the other guy and then make 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 something out of it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, All right, so we, let, let me ask you guys here: yeah, Are we gonna make top four? Yeah, I think we will. I think we have a, a really easy path. We only have two top six teams left the second half of the season. We have a Europa still, but I still think we can make top four. I was like, we should always be expecting top four. Like, we're Arsenal. We should always be expecting top four. There should never be a not that we're not going to be top four. Uh, I, I, and I, and I, I hate that. I, you know envy, I, mean? like, I envy your optimism. Uh, I don't think so. It's, it's, I, I, th I think I think our best our best route to, to the Champions League next season is going to be winning the Europa League. I think it's competition. Emery obviously has a lot of experience doing well in. I think, you know, Man United have really figured their shit out. Uh, I think Chelsea look like they're struggling a lot right now. Give me a sec. Um, but uh, I think it's going to be us and Chelsea at fifth and sixth. I'm not sure which one, but you know, I, I think we need to put all our eggs in the yeah. Europa League basket, and, and that's going to be our way forward. All right. I love and that he says that because I, I'm totally the opposite way. I think we need to <laughs> really focus on competing at the Premier League level. Yeah, I think we have a great opportunity to win Europa, but we still need to compete at Premier League level and try to beat all the small teams away and at home. What do you think of Stan Kroenke? And if you could say something to him, what would you say? If Stan Kroenke was watching this video as an American Gunnar, what would you say? Whack, bro. Nah, no, seriously, I fucking hate Kroenke. Just because like, I, I hate uh, uh, an owner where he has no passion, no no reliability, no nothing. I, I like People shit on Chelsea because Abramovich spends money, but fuck, don't we all want somebody to spend money on someone? Like, I would love my owner to be like, yo, you know what, I love that guy, give me 60 million, let's go fucking do it. We don't have that, unfortunately. We have an owner that, yeah. mind you, he not only owns the Rams, he owns a team in hockey, he owns he a owns team the in the MLS, 
He owns a team in every fucking sport. So how are you gonna give me dedication with Arsenal when you own six different clubs in like the whole entire fucking area? He's like, a fucking area. clown. We need to get him out of our club as soon as possible. Terrible. I mean, I think he, he's just bleeding us dry. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I think we all probably saw those charts. They're talking about how much owners have invested in the squads, their respective squads for the last eight years, and literally Minimal. every other yeah. club. I mean, like Crystal yeah. Palace, yeah. like. You know, full um, you know, they have owners that actually care, and actually want to invest And then we're like top 10 in revenue, well. like, as like one of the most wealthiest clubs in the world, which is like also embarrassing. Like, we make all this money, we're so commercially, like, Asia loves us. You, I heard we're coming back to, like, America this year, this summer. We're dying to go, like, we're willing to pay 350 fucking dollars for a ticket to come watch your asses, but you can't fucking spend on a fucking decent midfielder? I'm sorry, I'm fucking, like, getting mad, but it, it's I will so say. true, what you know I what I mean? Like, Stan Kroenke must have one hell of a security team because I'm yeah. sure people are trying to fuck with this guy all the seriously, time. Like, seriously, man. No, I, I, I listened to Arsenal Black the other day. I heard this embarrassing shit. He made the employees from Arsenal go watch the Super Bowl instead of watch the Man City game last Are you Saturday. serious? I swear to God. He made the fucking guys from Arsenal go to fucking the Super Bowl to watch the game instead of watch us play Man City. Thank, like, thank God. What that, the fuck? And I, and I hate what kind the of mentality Pats. is that? Like, what kind of loyalty do you have I'm, to your club? Bro? I'm a Giants fan. I hate the Pats so much. A bunch of my friends are Pats fans. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. But I was happy to see them beat the Rams because I hate this guy <laughs> yeah, so damn that's much. so fucked really up, but do. it's so true. It like, we so all true, hate man. Brady, but it was nice to see fucking Cranky lose, bro. Oh, fucking God. Swear to God. All right, thanks, guys. He's a monster. Yeah. He's shitty. He's a shit monster, and he should go. We need somebody else. I'm so happy he lost the Super Bowl. Total shithead. <laughs> I'm an Arsenal fan, I'm a Nuggets fan, I'm an Avalanche fan, and all I have to say is fuck Stan Kroenke. Literally, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> He's a terrible owner. We just need more money, and he's never gonna put money in. We're gonna be in the same spot. What do you think of Kroenke? I have no thoughts. I'm a Lakers fan. Go <laughs> <for> Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> and you? He's a diddler. He diddles. <laughs> right, can I get Kroenke out on free? <laughs> Fuck Kroenke! What are we saying to the Kroenke <laughs> One, two, three! Fuck Kroenke! <laughs> <laughs> if you could say one thing to Kroenke, what would you say? Sell Arsenal. <laughs> Sell the club. I don't know. I didn't hear. I don't know. I, li I like seeing the club in American hands, so I'm good. Yeah, but there's other American hands they could have. <laughs> <laughs>